Okay, so this would be a good one if you feel like you're a little bit intimidated of the idea of dieting or you feel like, am I going to have to diet the rest of my life or you look at the people that you see and you feel like they have it all together fitness wise and you're like, are they just always dieting? <laughs> this video is for you. So it was a good question that came up on we are in week three, week four. I'm walking one of my dogs, y'all. I'm multitasking, getting out, getting some steps in, getting some sunshine and chatting with you. And I just did a similar video in our private community, but I wanted to post it up here because I know it's something that women struggle with sometimes. And it is another reason or blocker. And it literally can be, it's not even so much a, an excuse because it's not intentional. It really can become kind of a stronghold and a mental block that keeps you from getting started or gets you discouraged or what have you. And so this weekend we had a quick Zoom check-in with some of the ladies in my 12 week program. And one of them asked, Coach Rebecca, I just, I really want to know if you don't mind me asking if this is too personal, it's okay, but are you always on a diet? Do you just kind of switch between plans? Because I've been taking pictures of my food and posting it to our group. And the answer is no, I don't diet. I live a lifestyle that empowers me to have a lot of different choices. The difference is my choices are different. So I know because I've been there in my own transformation story 20 years ago. And so I know, and having worked with, you know, hundreds, thousands of women over the last decade with the help of an amazing team, I, I can tell you that a lot of times we look too far, like instead of staying in the step we're in, we look too far down the rabbit hole and, or we look too far down the journey and we think, man, I can't do that or I can't do this. For example, when we think about never ever being able to enjoy family meals again, or we wonder, you know, am I going to be able to eat whatever your favorite is? Maybe it's lasagna. Maybe it's like, like true, like pizza hut, pizza, what have you. There's a few factors going on. You, one, I coach that you can choose to have anything you want to have. The second you tell yourself you don't or can't have something is the second that you will just drive yourself crazy because you want it so badly. So that's first and foremost. The difference is that over time your want to changes. So even when, so no, I don't choose to be on a diet. I'm not on a meal plan. I do eat as close to the ground or the animal 98% of the time. And it doesn't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I know sometimes women feel like they're going to miss out on their family dinners or the way they celebrate. Reality is, is that you take one step at a time and that's where it helps. I, for me in the beginning, you know, my initial like core, my journey was about 18 months, I think. And that's one of the advantages of being a coach is I get to make that a lot shorter process. It's still a process and it's still a journey, but I do like get to expedite that for women. So even in the 12 week, there's phases. In the beginning, you are focused on a meal plan because that will give you immediate result. What I've learned from my own story and coaching other women is having something very specific to focus on initially produces that momentum that gets you going, right? And then by the end of the 12 weeks, of course, we're focused on how to, um, you know, just become a student of your mind and body and eat for life, not for, uh, you know, following a piece of paper or a meal plan or whatever the case may be. But as you start, for example, when I first started out, I started with, I wouldn't recommend this route because this is one of the reasons it took me so long. So I started by deferring, right? So I would start out by deferring everything that I thought I wanted at the beginning of or throughout the week and I would defer it to a Saturday. Saturday would come, I'd have 10 things that I wanted to eat. And in the beginning, I probably ate the 10 things. I don't remember. But I know that over time, the, t the things that I actually wanted became less, right? And then over time from there, the things that I wanted changed, right? And so my want to has changed for different reasons. When you start eating well and you start taking out the packaged processed food and you go back to foods that are as close to the ground of the animal, your taste buds literally change. Your perception of food literally changes. And so you appreciate good foods more and you are less tolerant of grease or cheese. Like, you know, I think of like greasy cheese because I think because I was using that pizza analogy or what have you. And so your want to's change. Now, 
I will also tell you that, so my point is, is don't allow the thought of what it's gonna look like a month from now or two months from now or what you can or can't have keep you from getting started now, right? Start now, get connected, start on the path and just stay focused on where you're at. Just stay focused on incremental improvements. We have this analogy of all the time and always and everyone or no one, right? These huge exaggerations. And so we can do that and we can sabotage ourselves when it comes to our own food and fitness journey. Like, well, I'm never going to be able to eat, you know, my pasta or I'm never going to be able to enjoy meals with my family again. Or I'm not, you know, never, ever, always don't go down that thought process. Don't allow yourself to speak that over yourself. <laughs> Love the hair, right? Um and stay with where you're at, right? Focus on four weeks, focus on this week, focus on this day, right? Focus on these choices, and that's the value of being able to start every day new, is that you get to literally start every day new, right? Um, and just don't get overwhelmed by what you think you're going to want. Your wants will change as you continue to progress. The best way to do that is, you could totally do it on your own. I did it on my own for a long time, and then, I expedited the process when I started hiring a coach <laughs> and that's what I get to do for other people now. So I hope that that is helpful. So yes, I do eat clean 98% of the time. And when I say clean, I just mean no packaged or processed food or anything like this. At, at this point in time, my extent of packaged processed food might be an occasional gluten-free cookie and bars, which I am trying to stay not trying. I am staying away from for the most part too. Um, just because again, don't compare where you're at ne to where I'm at now. So at this point in my journey, 20 years in the process and working on myself, not just from nutrition, but mindset and well being and optimal performance, not just physically, but for thought of mind and health and longevity and all the different aspects that I've studied, I know the impact food plays in every aspect of life. It's not even close to the number on the scale. Like that is only a reflection of a symptom. Nutrition is such a powerful driver for so many things that are so far greater of far greater importance, I'm tongue tied at the moment, than a number on the scale or what your body looks like. Yes, your body is a representation of you taking care of yourself and all the things, but nutrition is such an intricate part in how we are able to manage our thoughts, manage our emotion, manage our stressors, age well, all the things that now that's the lens that I see food from. So for me, I don't want to, I no longer have a desire to have a lot of sugary foods or have sugar in my diet on a consistent basis or do processed foods or packaged foods or anything like that because my perception has changed. Now where I'm at, again, don't compare my now to your now, where I'm at now, 20 years in the process, hey Nissan, love you man, um, is that I look at you know food as part of my performance. So it also affects my ability to think and perform and show up as the best version of me on an everyday basis. And so that is also a factor for me and one of the things I look at when it comes to food. So I hope all of that was helpful. I love you guys. Type live below if you watch live. Type replay if you watch replay later. If you guys have any questions, then type them up below and I'll get them on a future video. And if you have not yet, if you are a woman of faith who loves talking about all things faith, fitness, and freedom, sorry, Nisa, this one's just for the ladies, then join us in our community. Love you. Bye.